Furthermore, we have cases of exclude them. Now, what does this exclude them mean? Exclude them arrangement means, suppose you are picking up R. You're, you need to pick out R at a time. So, in that case, suppose you have to pick up, you choose R items out of N such that M are always excluded. So, M is never included in the czar. Say, for example, I want to pick up, uh, say, uh, seven, four apples out of seven, out of which two of them are definite, are rotten, and I'm not going to pick them up. So, the number of available apples are going to be just seven minus two, five. So, the four have to be chosen out of the five not out of seven because two of them are totally excluded much the same way suppose you have a situation like this where in these there are these five smiley faces out of which two of them have not to be selected so the number available is going to be n minus m and r, r of them have to be chosen out of this n minus m not out of n so it's going to be n minus m er hence you have the formula when something, when M items are out of the selection uh, criteria and R have to be chosen out of N, the number of available options for choosing is only N minus M and hence you have N minus M PR. This is a case of exclude them arrangement when you have to pick up some items when some other are totally excluded from the choice or you are excluded from that choice. Say for example, you were to pick up a, you need to pick up some shirts. And uh, you have choices of various colors out of which there are about 20 shirts available. But you neither want any shade of red nor, you, nor do you need any shade of green. So out of the 20, suppose 5 of them are of those kinds. So those ones are out of question. So you have to pick up 2 shirts out of 20 minus 5, 15. Only, only 15 shirts are available for your choice. Hence, 5 of them are excluded. Hence, that kind of a situation is present here. Say, for example, number of permutation of 10 different things taken 4 at a time in which one particular thing never occurs. So, one particular thing never occurs means total number of available options are 10 minus 1, that is 9, out of which you can pick up only 4. So, these 4 have to be chosen out of 10 minus 1. So, it's going to be 9 P4 ways in which you choose. So, which is going to be 9 factorial upon 5 factorial, which is 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 factorial upon 5 factorial, which will turn out to be 9 into 8 into 7 into 6, which will turn out to be 3024. So, you, this is a very simple logic that one of them is excluded so the available available one is only 10 minus 1 out of which he needs to make his pick so it's going to be 3024 and yes we do have it that way okay now see this example this can be explained even logically number of ways in which eight suites of different sizes can be distributed among eight persons of different ages so that the largest suite always see they are of different sizes so it's a clear-cut case of permutation because the size varies so each person could get a different size so the number of ways in which eight sweats of different sizes can be distributed among eight persons so that the largest sweat always goes to the end so out of the eight suites one has gone so it is only seven available and these seven has have to be distributed not among eight of them but among eight people minus one because the largest has gone to the youngest one so it's going to be seven so it's distributing seven suites among seven people that is seven factorial 7 factorial is going to be 7 into 6 into 5, 7 into 6 factorial. 7 into 6 factorial, you know, 6 factorial is 720, so 7 into 720. So we have 5000 and 
40 is the answer. So, hence in this case, both are one excluded. One of them is excluded from the total available and the number of people available is also one less. So, it's going to be 5040 and hence we have this as 5040. And yes, we do have in that way.